Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's occasional series in MATLAB tutorials. Today we'll be looking at Morph Tool, which is by Brett Schulzen. So you go to the MATLAB Center File Exchange, you download it, and you put it somewhere. Now, just to go back to here, where did I put it? I, the Z Drive, MATLAB, and then I made a subdirectory or a subfolder of MATLAB called Morph Tool. And that's where I am at the moment. My present working around here. Now I know for other people looking at this you can set the path but for my students you kind of have to go this way so just make sure that you download it somewhere to your Z drive and that you're there. Okay you call up the command morph tool and that's what you see and I'm not going to go through all these commands but you have the structuring element here nice little slider here and you can you know, specify the radius, you can specify whether it's 4 connected or 8 connected. I know I should go through all of this, but I, you know, it would take me forever to go through all of this. I'm just trying to give you some idea of, it's just a nice slide around having to type the commands yourself. So, I'm just going out to here. There's Brett, it's his work, I don't want to take any credit for it, I'm just going to give some comments. I have a slide there, a screen grab of what it does. There's my YouTube channel, Optiplex17, no gap between the X and the 1. Okay, and I've done a fair number of YouTube tutorials, mainly in image processing. Okay, and today's date is, some, I think it's the 11th of July, 2014. Okay, so just go down there. Uh, that 8, I wrote, I'm not going to go through this line by line because you, you can say here, if you look up that YouTube, I do it in reasonable detail of what the late on the road does. So you just get it up there. And at the moment we're doing a dilate and we're there and there's the result of it. So just very briefly say that little white spot there, we're dilating it, we're making the white bits uh, bigger. We're dilating, you dilate the pupils. So it's bigger there. Uh, there's a, there's a white blob there on the tripod leg, you make it bigger. I know this is grayscale, not black and white, but just some idea. Erosion uh, might make the structure element a little smaller. A little smaller again. So, what will a row do? It'll take the white bits and try to make them smaller. So, that little bit there is gone from here. There's a white bit of dirt there or noise gone from there and then etc etc. So the white bits they're the most pronounced effect and you tend to uh, get rid of them. Opening is an erosion followed by a dilation. A uh, full commentary on my YouTube channel there about uh, opening and closing. So an opening is an erosion followed by dilation. So if you had sort of um, straggly bits, sticky out bits, uh, you would see that uh, being eroded. The sticky out bits would be eroded. I don't think there's much here. Uh, it's not a great one, cameraman here. But uh, we can go back to here that that there, it tends to be eliminated because that's sort of a straggly bit. Uh, obviously this goes here and uh, just say around the collar there there's a sticky outfit surrounded by black and that tends to be gone. Closing is um, a dilation followed by an erosion so what you're trying to do there if there was uh, bits of white with a black in the middle you tend to get rid of that so let's see can we find something like that. Uh, I'm trying to look at it. Oh yeah, there we go. See, just there where the mouse is now. You see, it's surrounded by white with black bits in the middle. So the closing will get rid of that. You get rid of those black bits or darkish bits. Okay. I am top hat. What that does is that finds the intensity peaks. So there's an intensity peak. Found it. Uh, looking along there. And you can see what it finds is actually brighter than what we had originally. So 
when I describe, just go back to here, when I describe top hat and bot hat, this in fair detail, but I am top hat is trying to find intensity peaks. And what you could do is, if you look at my YouTube tutorials, you could add that to that and the net result would be that the white bits are brighter. You've you, you've raised the intensity peaks to be brighter. It would, it would help in the contrast adjustment. I am bot hat that finds intensity valleys. So you can see here uh, along there the white bits are the intensity valleys. In other words where there's dark bits. You have white, black, white. So it picks that out. Um, top of the tower there well light grey dark light grey so the white bits there represent the intensity valleys so this is kind of counterintuitive it fine i haven't explained you know, the nitty gritty you have to look up the youtube tutorial but it explains you know, the youtube tutorial will explain how bot hat works but the net result is you find the intensity valleys and here what you would do is if you look up my youtube tutorials you would say that image that's the top image minus the bottom image that will make the intensity valleys darker okay and the whole idea is to aid the contrast um, enhancement gradient image uh, again using erosion and dilation you can find edges and we find the edge along there we find the edge along there and if you play around with the structuring element entropy filter might give a little i don't know if you could hear that a little warning here but just say for the moment entropy is uh, the amount of change or the amount of yeah the amount of change so the whiter the bits would be where there's more change going on and you can see just say there just on the tower there's a fair bit of change because you've gone from mid gray to dark to light gray and likewise there and that the smaller tower there contrast enhancement what that does is just just an i am adjust really and you're trying to make the black blacker and the white whiter now you could compare that contrast enhancement we're using i am top hat and i am bot hat bw hit miss yeah, you might have heard a thing in the background because that requires two structuring elements, which I'm not going to get into at the moment. BW area open. Uh, just go back to there. Just BW. Okay, now these guys here, sorry, just, just BW area open for a grayscale require a, a more two structuring elements which is uh, really beyond where I wanted to go because I just wanted to explain this but BW area open uh, will remove normally used will remove areas that are less than so many square pixels you know, 10 square pixels or 15 square pixels I'm not going to look at these guys I'm not just going to comment on them for the moment because it's beyond what I wanted to do with two structuring elements okay so hope that helps a little thanks very much for listening